Well, good morning everyone, it's John Neal here. It's Sunday the 25th of September, 2022, and I'm going to the Sheepy Plowing Match. Now you're wondering what Sheepy's all about. There are a couple of villages nearby called Sheepy Parva and Sheepy Magna. Why they're half in Latin, I'm not sure. But there you go, we're not far from the A5, which is a Roman road, the Watland Street. So I presume it's something to do with that. I could check it out and <laughs> let you know later on. Uh, the Sheepy farming community which seems to be centered in Chibi is really quite interesting because they have also done um, uh, and, and will do this year a Christmas uh, parade of tractors uh, all lit up with the lights it's absolutely fantastic what's that supposed to mean thank you Well, here we are, parked up. There's some of the big vehicles. And over here, we've got a big field with some tractors and a sheep dog. And um, looks like most of the action's down here. So let's walk this way. Well, this is one of many tractors we're going to see this morning. And this is one of the display models. They're here just to show off their tractors, the big brand new ones. But let's start way back before the time of tractors and all the ploughing was done by horses. This gentleman is just turning these horses at the end of this furrow. Not only are these horses magnificent, but I think this gentleman has got the best pair of trousers on in the whole show. And here is the other pair of horses with really rather swanky looking harnesses and buckles on them. Look at that. Magnificent. Oh my God, man. It's lovely to see them, right? Almost like right. pointing up with more food. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you're doing with that press wheel and the boat. Yeah. And some people have another boat. Got yeah. it. Three yeah. things plus the plough working. All in one go. All yeah. to make that, that bed, and then you throw your seed on it, it'll roll down into the hollows, then you go across it for the harrows, it's growing right. I'll say now, I'm not going into all the details of these tractors, but this is a Japanese mate Kubota produced in the 1970s and 80s. But this back end seems a bit uh, older than that. I can tell maybe by those metal wheels. Here's a man with his best friend, the dog, on a tractor, and the dog's got a little wooden seat look, specially made for him. Quite right too. And so the plowing goes on. These look to me to be like Ferguson or Massey Ferguson tractors, which were very, very popular in the uh, 50s and 60s. In fact, Massey Ferguson was an American company established in 
Where, do, you, do you live locally, sir? Yeah, my house is only about just over half a mile up the road. How, how long have you been there? 50 years. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, I originate from Kenilworth, and Warwickshire. Yeah. Uh, I was born at a very early age. Yeah. And, well, I'm 80 now. Um, I've got five tractors. One tractor I've only had uh, 54 years. I've got the tractor and plough that worked together in September 1940. Yeah. And the plan at the moment is that it's going to be going back to the family that gave it to me. Sorry, what was your name, sir? My name is Rod Flint, or Roderick Flint. <laughs> yeah. Roderick on a Sunday. Oh, yeah. Somebody well, said. Yeah, <laughs> and there's not many of us Rodericks about. Thank you very much indeed, sir. And, I would, and when the uh, National Vintage Tractor Club started yeah. in 1969, June 69, I was the first chairman. Ah. Nobody else can say it. No, indeed not. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much indeed. Ford's son. Why Ford's son? Uh, they were Ford's son originally before they were Ford. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, what, and you say what year is this? It's an answer 62. 62. Very nice. Have you had it all sent from new? No, no. It for the previous owner, yeah, and then he passed away, and I bought it. Right. Was that locally here? Yes. Whereabouts? It was Sheepy Magna. You're right. I've got to explain to somebody why Sheepy Magna is called Sheepy. I know it's Magna and Parva. That's sort of yeah. big and small. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Why sheep? I, don't know. <laughs> I shall have to lock that one up. It's got to do something with sheep, surely. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know what else. Yeah, this is uh, amazing. You've got a Welsh flag on there? Yes, I live at Fairbourne in Wales. Ah! I used to live at Bentley. Right, okay. I retired okay. to Wales six years ago. Yeah, all oh, right, nice. Yeah. But I still keep the tractor over here. Yeah. Be a long drive to <laughs> Wales and this will <laughs> take you a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Top speed? 20 miles an hour. <laughs> Listen, sorry, what was your name, sir? John Clark. John Clark, thank you very much, John. That's lovely. and ploughing, this gentleman is demonstrating his blacksmith skills. So it takes me about an hour to get it so it's working out. Sure is it going to pop like pop? No, it's not going to pop like popcorn. <laughs>
we've had a fantastic morning here at the sheepy ploughing competition event spectacle it's been great met some few one or two great people and uh, martin in charge is a powerhouse you can see why it's so successful and i'm just about to set off home and there's a steam tractor turned up a tesla of course and lots of big cars look at them all and here we have land rover and a tractor of course and then a big steam engine <laughs> main business of course was the 106th annual ploughing hedge cutting and ditching competition organized here on the borders between North Warwickshire and South Leicestershire by the Sheepy and District Association so congratulations to them all and may this uh, event long continue <laughs>